I'm Florence Ballade 3060 and you're into something good. Your favourites back on the channel, the Cassata Bar Hot Point WM63 Aquarius 1100. You can boil wash with Vizier Alpine Fresh and some Australian conditioner. I'm glad she's back. Let's see what we do today. <laughs> I'm just going to begin loading. Yeah, you saw the little teaser video I did of the unbalanced spin. So this is a mixture of white, well, some grubby stuff as well. It's got some very, very grubby dish rags, some of which we use to clean my electric scooter. Face masks, which are becoming the normal thing to wash. Something unmentionable in that wash bag. Not mine. White shirts. And socks. Uh, Mum's watching Dancing Lights, is that? I don't know what's on. And then I've got two, well, one's a bed sheet and one's a duvet cover, which we used while we did some work on the house. It's got a lot of dust from, and concrete dust from the wall. There we go. So you recognise this one from the video we did of the 9530, which went a bit mental. Um, I'm gonna, we're doing a pre-wash, so I'm going to put the do first dose in the... Oh, let's go again. The trouble is with these boxes is that where it's stored in the cupboard, it's right next to the vent. So... I'm not even putting that much in if it looks like it. Ah, there we go. I need a tad for the pre-wash. There we go. As the lime scale tablet. Because um, you can't put it in the drum because it's the pre wash. And the last of this congealed Australian conditioner. Oh my god. Ugh. That looks like something else coming out of this, and I'm not going to say it because I'm not going to get my thing. But look at that. That's like bloody. That's like a mojito cocktail. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, I'm not going to say what that looks like, but you, you, you know what I'm trying to get at. Oh. I'm not even going to look in that drawer until after. I hope to God that rinses out. So I mentioned doing a pre-wash, we're going to use this has got to be my favourite program on this machine. Program B, White Cottons 95 and pre-wash. This is an also pre-wash rather than selecting A, the manual pre-wash. So go ahead and turn that dial around. And click the clanky dial. Lined up on program B. Um, my only option is going to be super rinse. We enable time saver at the end of the main wash. Apart from that, we can go. Enjoy, guys. So, this is an interesting cycle. I like this one. Basically, B is just the auto pre-wash part. Then it actually goes on the program C. We ever see the water coming in there. Cheers, look at say an apple blast. I love my look at say. So we just fill with cold water. But we do slow tumbles.
See how we wait around a bit. If I'm going to Tesco tomorrow, so I might um, pick up some new detergents if I can. I'm at the end of the parcel, so I'll clear that and then that's it. Sorry for the background noise, the TV. Minis obviously had a load. I don't know if has that been done. Yeah, they've been done. Oh, I need to go on the white night. Because someone's just getting a lot of dust on her from over this side, yet Minnie doesn't. It's really weird. <coughs> so we're draining off to the pre wash, but we don't spin off as well on like the manual pre wash, eh? Filling for the main wash now. Taking in pure hot water. Stuff shouldn't get too something. I don't know how hot. I don't know how hot that water's gone in. It. Where's my? Where's my temp gun? stop. So literally about 40 degrees that's gone in. You've always got to, you got to add about 5 degrees for the loss through the glass. Let's go right. <clears throat> so we're currently on the main heating stage, heating to 95 degrees Celsius and we get the point now where steam is done to come up out of the drawer.
really heating up properly now we are. Currently we're at so about 70 degrees now. We have reached 95, let's see what our temperature is. Okay. Yeah, the detergent really foams up at this temperature. That was it. There you go. That's actually hit 95 degrees. There we go, we've actually reached 95. I'll just get a video of the um, Aquarius wash system tumbles on the boil wash. We do four tumbles in each direction, in the same direction. 60 would be three and 40 is two. That's one. Two. Might go the other way now. Oh, it's on the next part I think we do them. Interesting, I thought we I thought I've seen the machine do four before. Okay, this is the first intermediate spin. And the click you just heard was me disabling time saver. I do wish this tripod was able to go lower. pump just gets noisy with um, when it's hot. Because as the machine goes through the rinses it can't calms the sound down does. There we go. <clears throat> I'm hoping the sheet and the duvet cover won't cause any imbalances because we know what this machine's like. I do wish the pump on this machine was a little quieter, but I think it's because of the way the hose is in the back. She was never this noisy in Australia.
there is no balance, but I don't think it would be too bad. Let's get a subtle one. So prefer in this one. I think the heat just also softens the suspension. Okay, so we're filling, well, just topping up for the first rinse. There'll be a lot of top ups during this. Probably be another top up prior to that, yeah. Let's see. There you go, I told you. And the machine will top up right like right at the end just before we drain. Um, I'm gonna be joining a video call on our little group, uh, so you'll have Washer Lab to, uh, 2014. Um, might have washing machine guy on there too. Let's see. Uh, he's got his Hoover computer logic dryer on. Okay, on the second intermediate spin now. Oh yeah, we're doing Vizier in this one. I'm just gonna hang up because it's echoing like mad. We have that problem when we echo. Let's see. Still a bit. Let's see, so I might get a bit pulled up. There you go, guys. I'll show you to the camera. Oh, there you are. Balancing. Uh, second.
very, very small water lock there. On the second rinse now, guys. Second no, this is the first this is done. Oh, there we go, the top ups again. It's getting hot in here, I guess. See what? When you do a boil wash, it heats the entire room up. No, for um, a non-British detergent, I'm actually impressed with how well that's rinsed. Well, I suppose it's made to be used in front loaders. Need to get some Tide from America next. Mm. Third intermediate spin, guys. This is the spin, as you know, that goes to 700 RPM. Yeah. They're supposed to, especially on the final spin. They don't, they just cut, oh no, on the final spin they're meant to. But in the intermediate, they just pour and go on to the next rinse. Oh, it's echoing again. I'm trying to chug a bit there, I had to go chug, 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 chug,
We've got us a filling for the third rinse, super rinse level. And Sawensa so Corky Cork is filming his well, he's got his dryer going, he's not filming it. Intermediate spin now. It's weird saying fourth intermediate spin because I don't know if a machine that spins after the wash but also does four rinses. If I'm correct, I think the WM Monica profiles were the first to do spins after the wash, hot point wise. Watch how the finals finish completely unbalanced. Always happens.
done. Alright guys, we're filling for the final rinse. We're taking in the last of the Australian Soft and Ocean Fresh from Woolworths. That's all like loopy that stuff. Thameslink mask. Just in there at the moment. Final spin. Everyone's favourite moment for this machine. Guys who are watching this, I want you to comment below what is your favourite stage of the wash cycle and why? So, so when sir, or wash lab 2014, he says this is the spins. Mine has to be the final spin. Especially on a vintage machine, yeah. Mine has to be the final spin. Um, mine has to be the final spin. Um, especially on machines that spin up to like 15, 1600 RPM because it's the excitement of it getting faster. Especially like if it's not on machine. Yeah, look at that, that's unbalanced. What did I say? I knew the final spin was going to be unbalanced. Oh, uh, face masks. Oh, God. Face masks are caught in the door seal, though. Not too bad. See that.
I can sing on about a 12 one, which is it's, it's nice. <laughs> and now the end of the thing. Oh, it's a suck to the side. Half the load is still stuck to the drums. Oh no, hang on, now it's all come out. Lasting the um, anti tangles. Do you have to agree, hot point ones go on for a little too long. The wash. The washer dryers, I understand, that they're doing a long anti tank but not the washer machines. I remember when you had a WD-61 in your work. I remember 2016, in British Heart Foundation, a WDM73 came in. But I had a dented side, and they threw it out before I could test it. Exactly. All it would need is just a little punch from the inside, and it would have knocked the dent out. It would have been nice to film that. Although it would have had an FHP mode. Some of the fragrance, see how that did. Wow, very, very nice. Very dry, soft's come out. A bit balled up though. But, um, where's that dishcloth? Here we go. Lost my socks. Okay, they're grey anyway, so don't make fun. But, somewhere in here is that dishcloth. That was yellow with grease and whatnot. It's the trouble when you have bedding, you can't button up. It's somewhere in there, or is it stuck on the drum? Ah, that, no, what's that? It's my mask, my Beatles shirt. I'm just, I'm just gonna let that be. Oh, bad Beatles joke. There you go. Look at that, completely clean. Hmm. And mum's face masks. Alright. So, did we rinse away everything? Let's have a look. Oh, the phone just dropped on the floor. Well done me. Yeah, we did. Alright guys, so that was the Cassata by Hot Point WM63 Aquarius 1100 uh, doing program B with some Vizier on a boil wash. And there will be some more of this machine to come. We will start filming all cycles with pre washes now. So using program A first and then like program D, E followed by. We still need to film. Program J, quick wash. 
I will just get a small load of something to put in there. Apart from that, um, yes, thank you a lot. I'm happy she's back. Including you, Noah. Um, please subscribe, guys, to Washerlad 2014. I will put his link in my bio. Yeah, he's, there you go. Give him a shout out just for that. Um, he's got some great machines. And um, shall I give him your other account? Um, so for any train spotters or rail enthusiasts that watch my videos, I know there are some. Um, he's also got an account dedicated to the British Rail Class 43, or aka Intercity 125, HST, whatever you guys call it. It's called, um, what's it, Intercity 125 fan. Yeah, I'll also link that in there as well. Um, he's dedicated his channel to this iconic British Rail train. Um, so please uh, subscribe to that as well if you like trains. Um, so thank you very much for watching guys and don't forget to stay safe and keep it supreme and go with the flow and so Enzo you want to say anything? So you want to say anything? Uh, I'm fine. He says he's fine thanks. Take care guys.